Hello, the orders. Here we are. Let's get started. I'm Tatiana Dupré, and I'm a business analyst and services expert. And today, I am very happy to present you our newest feature for the Odoo 19 rental app. All right. Um, well, for this one, I think I will have to skip it. Though I'm sorry for the technical issues, but I don't think we won't have much time for the Q&A. But um, I reassure you, don't hesitate to go to our services booth afterwards to answer any questions that you might have. You can write them down, and we can discuss it at the services booth. All right. So let's get started. I wanted to start with an interesting fact. Did you know that by 2030, the uh, rental global market is expected to uh, value about 119 billion of dollars? So that for me is really huge and is really a sign that the rental global market is really growing. So people Hello. want more and Hi. more flexibility over VIP property, um, consumers and businesses. And first this shift comes uh, is this with several reasons. Done through open so AI? first of all, for Secure ecological so reasons. Of Second of all, because people travel just model, way more and more AI for model. personal or for business trips. And um, thirdly, also because people just want more flexibility. They, pe they um, want things just to be um, affordable question. and so on. Now, Odoo How has understand this, Odoo uh, understood this trend. And uh, that's why we have uh, made lots of new features in the rental application. The R&D department has worked very hard this year. Um, and before, actually, the rental app was more focusing on renting goods. But this year, the R&D department has put a special focus on renting services, like booking, like in the booking industry. And that's why I would like to welcome you in Odoo's booking era. Now, wait, wait, what's the booking era? So the booking era is a sector that manages reservations in advance for goods or services like hotel rooms, uh, even spaces or vacation stays. So those uh, reservations are done in advance for a specific time or a specific period. So um, the R&D department has worked very hard to enable this booking flow uh, and to provide a very nice user experience. And so that's why today I'm super happy to present, present all of the newest Odoo rental features for Odoo 19. So what's on the agenda for today? First, I've already started with my introduction, um, and I hope it convinced you that this talk will be interesting. And then, of course, I will present the features itself. So there are booking features, but there are also very cool new features. And for all of them, I will provide some business context, context and then I will present them in the demo itself. So you have practical info as well. Then we will end, as usual, with a conclusion and a Q&A. Well, I will check for the Q&A, but I don't think we have much time. So let's get started directly. What are the new features, especially for the booking industry? First of all, what is the first, things that, first thing that pops into your mind when you think about booking? For me personally, it's when I think about my holidays and I want to book, for instance, a hostel room for one or several nights. So here, directly, we see that uh, we want to rent on a nightly basis instead of a daily one, which would be the usual one for other rental uh, companies. So that's the first thing we did. We enabled the website nightly booking. So I say website, but it's actually also on the back end. So it's on the front and the back end. So we did, it by, sorry, we did this by configuring a new rental period, which is called nightly, obviously, and on which you can even choose a specific check-in and check-out hour. So let's not wait even more. Let's see how it works. This is my database. I'm a hotel, and I can start by going to my rental application. So let's check the products, how I have configured them. You see, I rent uh, two, kind of, two uh, kind of rooms, two types of rooms. The first one is just a standard one, and the second one has a nice view on the seaside. So let's see the second one. It is configured as a service, and it will create on order a shift in Hello, my Luke. planning application with the following role. But that. we will okay, come back to that later. Are coming in. Is now, it what is interesting here is, of course, configured as a rental. Day, and as such, I can configure day. the rental prices as well. And here you have our new rental peer, the nightly one. If I open it, I can, by the way, see that I have now a specific check-in and check-out hour. So what does that mean? I want my customer to come um, after 3 p.m and I want them to check out before 10 a.m. So that's something I can configure on the period Is directly. Is there a limit? 
in so how does that render on the website? How can customers book on the website? Or on the Let's platform? see. So here, it will open my nice website. Um, I first want to show you here the booking page itself. So, sorry. So you see you have all of the uh, hotel rooms, the view on Seaside and the standard one. You have the price rate, and I can ev even filter on the date itself. So let's see the one with the nice view side, because I would like to book this one um, for this o OXP for a well-deserved weekend, using the like AI, this, and I can uh, add, add it to my cart with several quantities because I want friends users? to come with me. Or is it also and I can see here, really, Odu mentions that the pricing data. is per night 400 euros. OK, cool. So let's add it to my cart, and let's check out. So before I pay, I just wanted to show you quickly as well that here the check-in and check-out hours are nicely set. I could even put uh, more text during when um, booking it on the product page. But here you can see that the check-in and check-out hour hours are automatically put on the order. Can we set a of approval based on user? All right, for let's example, proceed with the payment. If a particular person moves okay. the stage so From my order has been placed. I have booked my nice hotel for this weekend. Now, how does that render in the back end on the website? This brings me to my next feature, the planning integration. So we have now enabled okay. a whole new flow by integrating the planning app with the rental app. So both are now integrated email? and provide you so with an interactive planning so that internal team, teams always know what is available, where and when, and can easily switch data. Now, it includes the following features. First of all, you can rent limited quantities of services and not only of goods anymore. So if I have four rooms available, I don't want people to book more than uh, four rooms. That's logical. Same goes for employees as well. I don't want people to book more uh, services than I have employees available. Secondly, my resources are automatically planned and assigned. And so if a customer books on the website, the uh, plan date of the shift will be automatically set with the booking date, of course, and it will be automatically assigned to the right resource. So this resource can be an employee or uh, a, a room based on your configurations or material based on your configurations. All right. The third one is also super interesting because it really provides an interactive planning. It's to be able to create a rental order from the planning itself directly. So I don't have to go from the rental planning uh, rental app and then back to the planning. It's super easy. Odoo does it for you. Then there's a bilateral sync between both. So um, if I switch dates on the rental order, well, it will switch dates on the uh, sh planning shift as well. So that's super easy as well. And then last but not least, you can add a, a shift to an existing rental order. So if I simply want to add a booking, a new booking to the last order of my customer, well, I can do it as such. Now, let's see how it goes into the Odoo database. So, first of all, I am staying on the website because I want to show you again what happens if I go to my seaside. You see, automatically, it's not available anymore because I have already booked my two available rooms for this weekend. So I will not be able to select those dates. I have a warning and I'm blocked. So that's super nice. Then, how does that render on the, web, on the planning itself? Let's see the planning app. I see here a nice scan view grouped by resource. So I see here my reservation for this weekend has been done. First, it has put the right uh, hours and dates, so from the 19th until the 10th with 21st. And secondly, it has assigned the right resources. So both my rooms with the role seaside room have been assigned to it. So that's really cool. Then. Imagine I have a customer who is on a business trip and she wants to stay at my hotel. So I can easily here click on a future date, the 22nd for instance, and click on new to create a new shift. <laughs> Let's use the shift templates to easily add the check-in and check-out hours. And here, instead of having to exit the planning app and go back to the rental app, I can actually just create a rental order from there. So I click on New Order, and boom, I have here the um, overview of my rental order. I simply have to add my customer marine, and that's it. So I see here, Odoo has put the right product, it has put the right duration and rental period, all thanks to uh, the planning. So I can send this to my customer marine so that she confirms if she agrees with this quote. 
All right. So she emailed me back, and actually uh, there was a min misunderstanding in the dates. Uh, she will not come the 22nd in the end, she will come the 23rd. Oh, see, I can just super easily drag and drop the, uh, the rental order uh, from the left to the right to just switch the dates. You will see here as well that on my rental order, the dates have been switched as well. So from the 23rd until the 24th. All right. Now, imagine she's calling me back because she will come back uh, in, a, um, in a week for her business trip again, so she wants to stay at my hotel again. I can s click again on a new day, click on new as usual, and then here, instead of having to create a new rental order, I can simply, simply add it to the last one. So now I have two bookings on one same rental order. Let's check this. I can go to my rental app, and indeed, I see only one quote for my customer marine. So I have two bookings, one on the 23rd and another on the 28th. So that's super neat. All right, what else uh, do we have as cool new features? So first of all, we have the project integration with uh, rental, of course, which is super neat if you're an even company. So the use case would be that you, uh, on order, create a project for a customer. And then from this project, you perhaps want to create a new upsell rental order, but you want to manage uh, everything in one place. And so this can be done thanks to the top bar. Let me show you. For this, I will switch company because now we're an event company. And I can go to my rental app. I will create my usual order and I will, I will answer my order for SAP. So my customer SAP would like us to organize a nice after work event because they know we do that well and so they are looking for our services to organize it for them. What do I see on my order? I see first of all a service which will trigger my project and then secondly a storable product so that are the product that uh, will be used and so delivered at the customer location and then taken back after the event itself. Okay. No. Now, let's confirm this, so I have my project created and both of the stock moves are created as well. How does that re render on the project app? I see here, indeed, that my project has been created. Now, I can activate my top bar, which is new since last version, and directly see, uh, I can directly see sorry, my rental orders here. So if I click on them, I, I can see all of the rental orders related to this project. So imagine now that they would like to have an upsell order because in the end they're also interested in having our order band during their after work. So let's create this code and send it to them so they can confirm this order as well. And you can see here, as such, I have both my rental orders all related in one project and I could even have access to all of the different uh, data related to this project. So that's super convenient. Now, for the last new cool feature, um, it's the schedule. It's uh, about the schedule improvement. So this is really cool as well. Uh, we have added a lot of flexibility to the rental schedule. So here I'm really talking about the rental schedule, so not the planning one, which will rather be used if you're a company renting goods, so not services. So now with the new rental schedule, you can actually drag and drop horizontally, vertically, to switch products, to switch dates, to even switch the reserved serial numbers. So that's super cool. Let me show you how this works. So again, I'm going to my rental app, but this time I'm going to my rental schedule. I see here all of the different rental orders. So now imagine I would like to create a new one for a customer from the 24th until the 27th, and boom, Odoo opens the rental order. Here, it has automatically put the right product as well as the right dates. So I don't need to do that again. And I can create my order for pink cars. Great. So now on my uh, rental schedule, I see here that is rightly set. Again, I can simply drag and drop it to the next date if there was a misunderstanding. And now on the rental order, it has been updated as well. So it's a bit of an annoying customer. They're changing minds all the time. In the end, they don't want the DJ, the DJ set, but they want the audio and lightning equipment. So, le so let's switch products again. And here, if I go to my rental order, let me show it to you, you will see that now I don't have the DJ set anymore. I have the audio and lightning equipment. So that's super cool and really easy. 
What you see here as well is interesting. It is the fact that you can reserve lots in advance or serial numbers. So if you want to reserve a certain product for a certain customer order, you can easily do it as such. But I can actually also do it from the rental schedule. So now if I go here, I can even group by serial number. And I can see here all of my products with their serial numbers reserved. So here it's not reserved yet, so let's just drag and drop it to our newest products so that they have the, nice, um, the, nice, the best audio and lightning equipment I have in my stock. All right, so that was actually already it for all of the rental features. Um, I'm really glad that you were able to participate to my talk. Sorry for the small delay. Um, I'm really happy to have presented you the booking flow, uh, also the new integration with the project app, if you're rather an event company, or if you're a, rent a company renting goods, well, now you're able to use the flexibility of the rental schedule. So thank you very much to ha for having participated to my talk, and welcome to Odoo's booking era.